Welcome to Clayman on Call. The markets may be closed, but I am always on call for you. Saved by the bell. After a sell-off today on Wall Street, the Dow fell nearly half a percent. But you know what? That loss actually wasn't enough to sink it in the red for the year. S&P 500 ending lower, finishing the session at 2114 with a loss of about five points. And then you had the Nasdaq declining three quarters of a percent. Look, it was hard to find green on the screen anywhere. Commodity land dried up too. Oil falling three and a quarter percent to settle under $50 a barrel. Take a look at that. We had to close the regular session of 49.19. Settle lowest since April 2nd. Gold down a full percent, settling at $1,109.40 a troy ounce. That, by the way, folks, is gold's lowest settlement since March of 2010. Gold is now down 10 straight days, its longest losing streak since September of 2000. Qualcomm reporting earnings after the bell. The mobile chip giant delivering mixed results, beating on the bottom line but missing on revenues. The stock relatively unchanged in after hours. The big headline out of this one is that the company is announcing a 15 percent reduction in total headcount. A lot of layoffs coming their way. Also, American Express out this afternoon. Mixed results at the credit card giant as well. The stock is down in aftermarket session after the strong dollar hurt profits, especially in its international operations. Let's bring in Scott Shelley. He's in the pits of the CME. I, I don't know which to look at first, but in the end, we do have more companies than not beating on revenue so far this earnings season. Should you be in stocks in August as we head toward that month? I think we're just starting to finally see some cracks here. I'm not I'm not a big bull, and I wanted to maybe take account today, listening to all the different pundits out there, tell me what a great time it is to get in the market and buy, say, Apple. I, I think that we've got a lot going on, and I think the market's a little bit worried here, and we are a little bit vulnerable. If we have anything bad go on, we have anything that happens still in Europe, we still are seeing China slow from 12% to 6%. Look at what you just said about the commodities. Mm -hmm. uh, there's not a lot of good things on my screen, not green things, just not a lot of good things on my screen. Boy, did I hear a lot of people say buy Apple right now. I know, <laughs> I know, right. so did I, which tells me, you know what, I'm gonna be a little weary of that, number one. And, I, I still think that we don't have the inflation that the government spent all the quantitative ease in trying to buy. Yeah. That's a big worry. Think about the gas prices from $100 a barrel now to 40 some odd dollars a barrel. And we can get, give the consumer $90 billion windfall per year in their back pocket. And it doesn't show up in retail sales. Where is this money going and what are we making? Maybe we'll find out tomorrow, Scott. Thank you so much. And I say <laughs> that because we need to tell everybody that there are dozens of companies that are reporting numbers tomorrow. And these are companies that can really reflect what's happening at the consumer level. Before the bell, we have 3M, Caterpillar. Then you've got Comcast, General Motors, and NASDAQ. After the bell, keep an eye out for Amazon. There's a consumer play, AT&T, Pandora, Starbucks for the $11 Java chip Frappuccino Extra Large and Visa. Be sure to check out all of today's interviews and the real news of what happened today, LizClayman.com. There's so much there. You can really learn about your money, so we hope you check it out. And of course, 3 p.m. Eastern, I'll see you tomorrow. It's a date, your money, you, me. I'll see you then. Have a great night.